and Sunday evening will be registered in the pages of history for cricket fans. After the game, Indian fans just could not hold it in. They failed to control their emotions and express their happiness for Kohli's blistering knock in the entire team's scintillating performance. What do you think was the best performance here? I believe only halfway through the match, it was Virat Kohli as the X Factor. Yeah, um, he uh, came on the crease on like the th second, third over, I guess. Yes. And he stayed uh, till the end of the match, and it was really thrilling. Did, did you really expect, because uh, from the beginning when we started to watch the match, you, did you really think that India could win? Did you no. lose that hope? Um, no, I didn't lose the hope, but I thought they might lose because... Uh, you did? <laughs> yeah, because it was like 130 and 160 was the target. True. So it was like they might have lost, but they won. Yes, it was truly a nail-biting experience. What about you? What did you think about uh, the country? Did you really think that India is going to make it? Because we saw how Virat was the person, the man of the match here, guiding through the victory. What do you think? Yeah, Virat Kohli... Uh, get a very contribution runs mm -hmm. uh, and he made a very contribution and uh, I think Virat, uh, Virat Kohl ne bahut bada contribution kya tha jo India ko jeetne ke liye bahut jyada madad kya tha aur uh, mere ko Hardik Pandya ka performance bhi bahut achcha laga middle order mein ja ke mm -hmm. to mere ko, mere ko bhi pehle se hope tha ki India haar jayega par jab last over mein 16 run aur no ball aur wide dal de to mere ko India hope lag gaya ki India jeet jayega you know, Virat Kohli has been at uh, his career low for some time, right? It is only now that he's made a, a great comeback. What do you think about his performance on the pitch? Today, it was in the match, the performance, what was the high level and uh, one of the greatest performance of the year. I think so, so much uh, passed back, he was in, in form. But this moment, when he came into the farm and he has hit so many sixes and when he started batting until the last over, yeah, the hope was came in our heart and last, yes, we won it in a <laughs> huge way. I, I truly, because that's one excitement that I'm seeing here on uh, ground with Virat Kohli because he is the one who actually guided the country to victory. What do you think about the captaincy's performance? How was it? Yeah, first of all, congratulations, India. It's an absolute pinnacle victory, actually. Mm -hmm. So the captaincy of Rohit Sharma is amazing decisions. Uh, every fact is, uh, should be considered. Very bold decisions, the Hardik Pandya, the Akshar Patel decisions of the third down. It's a fantastic decision by Roj Sharma. Actually, it's not uh, that much of a pro, but uh, it, it's okay for that. And the Hardik Pandya, it's amazing. And the, the way the order, the uh, Roj Sharma keeps the decision and the team management, the BCI, and everything is awesome. And uh, and the plan is, is very well planned. That is, entire plan is, Brad Kohli and Hardik Pandya is a long partnership. We need to stick together and till the end of the game. A thrilling match to say the least that kept fans on the edge. But finally, India have won against Pakistan. We have fans with us who are celebrating Yo! here. Yo! Yo! Fans Yo! ecstasy as India has won against Pakistan in a thrilling match. So yes. what do you say about the match? India right now is the best team and the team to win against India in this World Cup. India is not going to get let it down. India is going to win this World Cup, hands down! Hands down! Did you think we were losing at the end? At some point we yeah, lost yeah. hope yeah, and then we, India rose. So when we lost 3-4 wickets, I mean we all lost our hopes but we kept our hopes on Kohli and the way he pulled it, yeah. pulled it off. It was, yes. it was phenomenal. Kohli really saved the game yes, this time. Yes, 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 exactly. The way he thrashed Harish Rauf and then Shaheen Afridi, it was phenomenal. I mean, unbelievable, unbelievable. I mean, so everybody is man of the match. If I ask you, is Kohli for this match? Yes, sure, yes. He is the best batsman in the world right now. Better than Baba Azam. Right now, any day, any hour, any second. We are proud of him. We are proud of him. The best part is, he made it happen. Kohli made it happen. Yes, Kohli made it happen. And these guys and all of you Indians made it happen. Yes, we won it. Auto Bob, India's one. Celebrate! Yes. Diwali, Diwali is coming early. Yes. Diwali came early for all of you yes. and for the whole yes. of India. Best yes. Diwali gift we can never That's receive. Right. Ever, ever receive. Were you expecting India to win or did it come as a surprise? No, 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 not at all. Till like 15th over, we, we lost all our hopes. And yeah, yeah. After 15th over, Kohli took the charge and. I mean, you you guys already saw rest is history. <laughs> all of you, you all lost hope. 
Even the stats said 70% was Pakistan winning, 20% was India, but Kohli for the win all the way. Yes. At that point when we needed 16 runs and 6 balls, that was a moment when you were losing hope. We were losing hope, but still, you know, Kohli and Hardik on the screens, we would just need two sixes and, you know, we just, you know, had a, like, we can do it. And yes, we did it. Before that 16 for 6, there were those two sixes that Kohli, Kohli hit. That was the turning point of the match. And Kohli did make it and we are so I happy and Kohli. happy Diwali Kohli. Kohli, you are a champion! champion. You are a champion, man! Alright, so you think it's the Kohli, Kohli that really made King us Kohli win show. the match. It's the King the Kohli show. King Kohli show. King Kohli show, definitely hands down. We, everyone was saying he was finished, he's finished, he's finished. He proved everyone wrong today. Kohli, proved Kohli is back. Wrong. Which point was for you was the turning point of the match today? So as you can see, fans are completely ecstatic and nobody was expecting India to win at one point. So which was the turning point? Maybe around the 15th over of the Indian batting innings. Yeah. I guess the 19th over where he hit Harris Rock for two sixes. And that was really important because Harris was bowling really well. And that actually set the tone for the last over as a spinner had to bowl the last over. So I was pretty sure that even if we have around 20, 22 runs, he'll easily get that. Right. Yeah. So really happy? Yeah. Yes, really, yeah. really yeah. happy. How are you going to celebrate now? What are you going to do for celebration? We have to continue. We have to continue the celebration. The celebration have already started. Our voices are breaking. We've been shouting all the while. I mean, I can't even speak properly, yeah. so you can imagine. You just got a testimony of your shouting. <laughs> <laughs> so that's going to continue and the celebration yes, is going yes, to continue yes. till Diwali. And all of this is going to continue. Thank you very much for speaking to us. As you heard, their fans are really, really happy. All of them saying that Diwali came in early this year with India winning that thrilling match against Pakistan. And for everybody, and even for the match, Kohli is the man of the match. And everybody is saying he really saved the game. It was on the edge. People had lost hopes that India is definitely going to lose is what everybody thought. But there came Kohli and saved the match. In New Delhi with camera person Xavier Thomas, Priyanshi Sharma for NDTV. All right, let's get you the other news of the day. Prime Minister Modi attended the annual Deepotsav celebrations in Ayodhya from where he greeted the nation ahead of Diwali and traced his government's motto of Sabka Saat, Sabka Vikas or Development for All to Lord Ram. Bhagavan Ram Jaisi Sankalp Shakti Desh ko nai unchai par le jayegi. भगवान राम ने अपने वचन में अपने विचारों में अपने शासन में अपने प्रशासन में जिन मूल्यों को घड़ा वो सबका साथ सबका विकास की प्रेरणा है और सबका विश्वास सबका प्रयास का आधार भी है हमारे धार्मिक सांस्कृतिक स्थान और नगर पीछे छूटते चले गए हम यही अयोध्या के राम घाट पर आते थे तो दुर्दशा देखकर मन दुखी हो जाता था काशी की तंग हाली वो गंदगी और वो गलियां परेशान कर देती थी जिन स्थानों को हम अपनी पहचान का अपने अस्तित्व का प्रतीक मानते थे जब वही बदहाल थे तो देश के उत्थान का मनोबल अपने आप टूट जाता था साथियों बीते आठ वर्षों में देश ने हिन भावना की इन बेड़ियों को तोड़ा है हमने भारत के तीर्थों के विकास के एक समग्र सोच को सामने रखा है हमने राम मंदिर और काशी विश्वनाथ धाम से लेकर केदारनाथ और महाकाल महालोक तक गनगोर उपेक्षा के शिकार हमारी आस्था के स्थानों के गौरव को पुनर्जीवित किया है प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी वॉज इन अयोध्या फॉर द दीपोत्सव और द प्री दिवाली सेलिब्रेशन दिस सीन दैट यू सी इन माई फ्रेम राइट नाउ वॉज द मेजर पार्ट ऑफ वॉट इट डिड इन अयोध्या टूडे सो ऑल थ्रू दिस साइड एक्सटेंडिंग ऑल द वे टू द राम की पैरी लैक्स ऑफ अर्दन लैम्प्स और दियाज व लिट बाई वॉल्टियर्स हुआ मोस्टली स्कूल स्टूडेंट्स Uh, it presents a very beautiful sight uh, like all years this is the 6th year that the dipotsav is happening uh, 
this time it was special because the Prime Minister was here. Uh, in the last five years, Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath has led these celebrations. This time they were led by the Prime Minister, supported by the Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister. The government uh, lit more than 15 lakh diyas with the help of all of these young people who you see on your screens right now. Uh, this is a record. Uh, in his speech here, the Prime Minister said a very interesting thing. He spoke about how uh, the, the, in the past, uh, governments neglected places of worship, places that defined India, like he said Ayodhya, Ujjain, he said uh, Banaras. He said that it was very painful to see the dirty lanes of Banaras and of Ayodhya. And he said that his government, the BJP government in the last eight years, has restored the glory of religious places and given it, them a new identity, something that he said is shaping the identity of the country. Uh, this was the crux of the Prime Minister's speech here in Ayodhya. And uh, like I said, uh, this, was the main, uh, this was the main program that he held over here uh, in this temple town. Uh, his visit, of course, was timed uh, just before uh, the state election in Himachal Pradesh and in Gujarat. Before this, he's gone to Kedarnath, to Badrinath and also to Ujjain. All of them very significant uh, places of worship. Uh, next year, uh, the Ram Temple, and he visited the under construction site and also prayed at the temporary temple there, uh, will be ready by December 2023. At least some bits of it will be ready and thrown open to devotees. Again, very significant for the BJP ahead of the 2024 state election. But just to show you once again, the main visual today uh, from Ayodhya were these lakhs of lamps lit by these young people uh, all across this uh, temple town, starting from here where I am, all the way to the Ram Ki Pedi. So the Prime Minister spending a good two, three hours on Diwali Eve in Ayodhya uh, with Pramod Srivastava and Rajesh Gupta. This is Alok Pandey, NDTV. Meanwhile, the Diwali air quality forecast for Delhi is likely to worsen to severe and this despite a complete ban on the sale and the bursting of crackers this year. For anyone caught selling crackers, the jail imprisonment is three years and a fine of up to 5,000. And for bursting crackers, you can be jailed for six months with a fine of 200 rupees imposed. So has it proved to be a deterrent? NETV's Vinora Vadwani does a reality check. We are here at Delhi's famous Portla market and as we know tomorrow is Diwali. But we also know that the government has banned the sale of firecrackers and banned the storage also of firecrackers. Anybody caught selling firecrackers will be fined rupees 5000 and will be sent to jail for three years. And anybody caught bursting firecrackers will be charged rupees 200 and will be sent to jail for six months. But when we spoke to a lot of people here, they say that firecrackers are still being sold. So what's the ban? They're still being sold illegally and that too at a higher margin. Let's find out. Sir, your name? Okay, so sir, we have seen that many shops are closed. But in the ear, it's also coming that illegal sale is happening now with firecrackers. Is this true? Illegal... नहीं कह सकते देखो वो आजकल के रिक्वायरमेंट है जब बैन कर दिया गवर्नमेंट ने और जो रेडी पटरी वाले बेचारे खरीद करके लेकर के आ चुके हैं पहले ही तो वो क्या करेंगे बेचेंगे ही ना पहली बात तो वो खुद महंगे खरीद के लेकर के आए हैं अब वो महंगे खरीद के लाने के बाद दोबारा कहीं और ना मिलने की वजह से वो और महंगा बेच रहे हैं इस तरीके से किसका नुकसान हो रहा है कस्टमर का ही नुकसान हो रहा है कस्टमर की जेब पे बहुत फर्क पड़ रहा है क्योंकि उन्हें दस रुपए की चीज पचास रुपए खरीदने को पड़ रही है तो बैन करने का तो कोई बेनिफिट ही नहीं रहा पहली बात तो हाँ। और हमें पॉल्यूशन फ्री करना है तो पॉल्यूशन फ्री के लिए हम ग्रीन पटाखे जो उन्होंने निकाले थे वो दे सकते हैं कम से कम कुछ तो छोड़िए बच्चों के लिए हाँ। बच्चों की एंजॉयमेंट कहाँ से होगी दिवाली कहाँ से रही सिर्फ दिए जला करके दिवाली नहीं मना सकते आज के टाइम पे <laughs> और यहाँ पे ये जो शॉप्स और ये सब बंद है इनका आपको क्या कहना है बिकॉज यहाँ पे मैंने देखा एक दो शॉप बंद पड़े है जो बहुत बड़े शॉप्स है और जहाँ पे बहुत क्रैकर्स बिकती थी इनका क्या ये बंद कर रहे हैं और नहीं इनका इनका बंद है जिन जिन लोगों के पास लाइसेंस था उन्होंने कहा सबका बंद है दुकान okay. मतलब एक हफ्ता एक हफ्ते से ऊपर हो गया है तो बंद पड़ी है उनकी दुकान ठीक है आपका नाम वंश ओके सो यू आर नॉट सेलिब्रेटिंग दिवाली विद फायर क्राकर्स दिस टाइम नो दैट्स नॉट द थिंग टू टेल यू एक्चुअली वी ऑल्सो लाइक पॉप अप इट्स अ ग्रीन वंश एंड आई वॉन्ट टू से टू द पब्लिक दैट इट्स नॉट द वंश हु 
uh, bring the firecrackers, but they will also bring bad things to their uh, home. And they will bring their society a bad place where they will be not secure with the pollution. Okay, and what about your friends? Are they also not playing with firecrackers or are they getting firecrackers? <laughs> That's the question. Uh, I will... Uh, they are also playing with the firecrackers, as I have said, not, not to uh, firecrackers to them also, but they are not listening, so I can't do anything from them. Okay, and they buy, you mean they're buying firecrackers, yeah, and sure. where, do, where do they get these from? From the, like, uh, some, just uh, logo ne apna dukaan khol rakha hai, cosmetic, just either hi dukaan khuli hui hai, ye sab, par inke piche bhi log hai, jo pata ki देते हैं अब इन्हीं भैया को देख लो यही कम से कम अभी अपने पास कई पटाखे रखे होंगे पर आप जब आए हो ना तो इनने छुपा दिए होंगे यही बात है ओके इन द एंड फ्रॉम द माउथ ऑफ बेब्स all right let's move on to um, a horrific story an sst man has been assaulted his face blackened his head shaved after being accused of stealing a toilet in up's barrage by a local bjp leader and two of his aides and the BJP leader behind this assault is on the run. The authorities claim they haven't been able to find him. A man from the scheduled caste community was assaulted, his face blackened and his head shaved after being accused of stealing a toilet seat in Uttar Pradesh's Mirage. A local BJP leader and two of his aides allegedly tied the man to a pole, blackened his face and thrashed him on Tuesday, officials said. Visuals of a mob assaulting the 30-year-old daily wage earner, blackening his face and shaving his head down the middle have gone viral. Mishra is on the run, but his two aides have been arrested, police said. In the visuals which capture the assault on the man, a crowd can be seen cheering on and recording videos as his head is shaved and face blackened. A senior police official told NDTV that a case has been registered against the accused under charges of assault, criminal intimidation and under provisions of the stringent law to punish crimes against scheduled caste and scheduled tribes. With Alok Pandey, Sneha Koshi for NDTV. And that's not all. A Karnataka minister, the BJP's Minister of Infrastructure Development, was caught on camera slapping a woman at an event where he was distributing land titles. The Congress has asked, the Prime Minister speaks about honouring women from the precincts of the Red Fort. Is this the way you are protecting and giving security to India's women? She went to the minister with her grievance but got a slap in return. Karnataka minister seen slapping a woman in the presence of women police officers. Kempamma humiliated then bounced out to touch the feet of Viso Manna, the housing and infrastructure minister. Cops can then be seen dragging her out from the stage. As the outrage grew over the shocking visuals, the BJP minister's office shared a video of the woman saying that media misreported the news. We saw Manna, the Champrajnagar district in charge minister, was invited to be a part of the program on Saturday in Hangala village. The event was organized to dispute property title deeds to the landless. Kempama at the venue alleged that the beneficiary list was rigged by the department officials and her name was left out. Comparing the stark contrast of Mr. Rahul Gandhi embracing and hearing out grievances of common man, the Congress demanded the asking of the Karnataka BJP minister. Pradhan Mantri Modi ji, vote lene ke liya ab mahila suraksha ki baat karte hai. लाल किले की शहतीर से महिला सम्मान की बात करते हैं और कर्नाटक में भाजपा के मंत्री वी सोमन्ना थप्पड़ मारकर सरेआम एक अबला महिला को गिरा देते हैं क्या ये महिला सुरक्षा है भाजपा की दो द बीजेपी हैज मेंटेन्ड साइलेंस ऑन दिस इशू चीफ मिनिस्टर बस रज बुमाय सॉट एन एक्सप्लेनेशन फ्रॉम द मिनिस्टर घटने घटने ने ना आता आगे अब सण अपचार 
ನಾನು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಮೂಲಕ ಮೊದಲನೇ ಬಾರಿಗೆ ನಾನು ನನ್ನ ಕ್ಷಮೆಯನ್ನು ಯಾಚನೆ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ವಿಷಾದ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಪಡಿಸ್ತೀನಿ ಹೆಣ್ಣುಮಕ್ಕಳ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ನನಗೆ ಅಪಾರವಾದ ಗೌರವ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ಉತ್ಕುಮಾರ್ ಶ್ರೀಜಾ ಫಾರ್ ಎನ್ ಡಿ ಟಿವಿ